Hello, and welcome to Crypto Exposed. So guys, um, I found this article here just with regards to a new tactic that the SEC have done. And I just wanted to get into this just because it just makes me think in regards to what the SEC's intentions are with regards to this lawsuit. Now, this may be something that's been covered before, but I just think now we're seeing um, something from a previous lawsuit, which would be because of the library token lawsuit. We can just see something that happened there, and I think it might give us some kind of indication of what the SEC are trying to do with Ripple and XRP also. So I'm just going to get into this article just so we can discuss this, and then I can get to the point that I'm trying to make. Okay, so Ripple Alley versus SEC takes new turn as Commission withdraws request for disgorgement. Per the latest update shared by James K. Filan in the library case, the SEC has filed a supplemental brief that amends the relief requested in its opposition to library's motion to, quote, limit the Commission's remedies, unquote. The Commission also stated it has withdrawn its prior request for disgorgement for reasons it cited as, quote, library lack of funds and near defunct status, unquote. Per the brief, the SEC stated, quote, notwithstanding the availability of disgorgement as a remedy in this case, the Commission, considering the information and sworn testimony received during the supplemental discovery period, withdraws its request for disgorgement because of libraries, in brackets including its wholly owned subsidiaries, lack of funds and near defunct status, unquote. The Commission has, however, requested the court order a civil penalty of $111,614 and enjoin library from violating section 5 of the Securities Act and from conducting unregistered offerings of crypto asset securities, at least until library destroys its holdings of LBC and dissolves, as it promised the court it would. Library lost its lawsuit with the SEC and the regulator moved to impose a penalty equal to library's full pecuniary gain of $22,151,000 $971. The SEC claimed that library's gross receipts for its Section 5 violation equaled the value it received in the exchange for its sale of 280 million LBC from its pre-mine and market making activity on multiple crypto asset trading platforms, which was over 22 million. Library filed its motion to limit the SEC remedies as well as an oral hearing on January 30th of this year. Library to burn its LBC holdings. Pro Ripple lawyer says XRP case is different. As the crypto community contemplates what the outcome of the library lawsuit might imply for the ongoing Ripple SEC lawsuit, crypto lawyer Bill Morgan says he does not accept the relevance of the LBC burning to XRP at all. He says nothing about the library sales of LBC is even close to Ripple's current sales of XRP to ODL customers. He says ODL customers do not invest in XRP, but instead use it for cross-border payments. Thus, such sales do not qualify as investment contracts. He concludes, quote, What need is there to burn the XRP escrow if sales by Ripple of XRP to ODL customers are not enjoined by the court, which they shouldn't be, unquote. So, that end point is exactly what I wanted to get at. Burning the escrow. Now, I think this has been discussed before. My concern here is just with regards to um, what this lawyer has said in regards to saying that it's not relevant to XRP. Look, my issue that I have here and my concern is the SEC have been completely wild with their theories up until this point. OK, the things that they've tried to assert and the assumptions that they've made. So, you know, they might say, oh, Yes, you know, we did do the speech that did come from someone of the SEC, but it was from a different department of the SEC. So while they may be saying that, that doesn't necessarily represent the whole of the SEC's opinion, which is just outright stupid. It, it just made me wonder, would the SEC be trying to get that kind of resolution if they won? Is this what they want? Because let's, let's be realistic here. They clearly want to win this lawsuit. There's been no type of, you know, settlement that's been reached. So 
the SEC really are going kind of all out here. They're not looking to take this easy on, on Ripple. They really are, you know, going for the jugular. And so it, it does just make me wonder, is this what their plan is? And while I do understand what the uh, lawyer is saying, Bill Morgan, just because it doesn't have relevance doesn't mean that that's not what the SEC might want. Do you see what I'm saying? And, and, and I think they're going to be as ambitious as they possibly can because they've let it go on this long and they're still fighting. So, you know, it does just make me wonder if that is what their aim is. And again, it just makes me that more concerned that, you know, if they win, what would the outcome be? I mean, look, I'm not saying that I feel confident SEC are going to win. I actually feel it's more likely they are going to lose just going by the uh, research that I've done and following the lawsuit up until this point. But I'm I'm never 100% sure I'm not. So I do always have this in the back of my mind, the what if, what if Ripple do lose? And that is a little bit concerning uh, because it does make me think, will they be going for that kind of resolution? So um, I just thought I'd show you that because it, it, it does make me wonder. And yes, a crypto lawyer has said there's no relevance. But, you know, at the end of the day, the way the SEC have gone um, so far, logic doesn't really seem to come into their in, into any of their kind of points or discussion. It just seems like they just say whatever they want to say and they just see what sticks. So to me, while what the lawyer is saying makes sense, <laughs> The SEC don't make sense whenever they're making their argument, so it wouldn't surprise me if that didn't change their opinion at all. Um, so just thought I'd put that out there and see what you guys think about that. Um, but let me know your thoughts, guys. I'd be interested to hear. Do you think that this is something that you guys think the SEC are trying to do? Do you think ultimately they're trying to basically take away Ripple's XRP and if it basically effectively ruined the business altogether because we we already see what they've been doing overall right they're just crippling companies like with library they've basically made library bankrupt so is this their way to try and bankrupt ripple like just take all of their xrp out of the escrow so that, that's going to hugely affect the um circulating supply of ripple obviously if they have to destroy all of the xrp that they hold and then they probably won't be able to do business without that kind of uh xrp in the escrow that was originally there so you know it just it does just make me wonder but what do you guys think let me know your thoughts guys i'd be interested to hear thank you very much for watching this if you did like it please remember to drop a comment like and subscribe but until next time take care